To begin streaming your iOS or Android games to Twitch, you'll first need to make a Twitch account. So log on to twitch.tv and click the sign up button in the top right hand corner of the web page. I've already made an account, so I'm going to log in and visit my dashboard page. Once you get to your dashboard page, you will want to click settings and click stream key. You will then click show key. However, it's important to note that you should never share this key with anyone as access to this key will allow anyone to stream on your channel without your permission. You can reset this key at any point if you feel like someone has been streaming on your channel without your permission. Once you see the key appear on your screen, you will want to take note of it as you will need this later. Once you've noted your stream key, you will install and open the OBS software. I've already installed it, so I'm going to open it from my Applications folder. And now we're ready to stream. So this is what you will see when you open your OBS software. A couple things to note are in the bottom left-hand corner, the Scenes box and the Sources box. The Scenes box is where you can manage all the different scenes you want to stream or record. The Source box is where you will choose where your stream comes from. Let's start by linking your Twitch account to OBS. Click on Settings in the lower right-hand corner. Click on the Stream tab along the left. Make sure Twitch is selected in the service box. Enter your stream key and click OK. So to begin streaming your games, you will want to download Reflector 2. Now Reflector is an application that's downloaded on a Mac or Windows computer and allows you to wirelessly share your device screen to your computer. So there's no need to use a cable or lightning cord to connect your device to your computer in order to stream. So I have it downloaded and open, and I'm going to now mirror my device screen to Reflector. And it will show up. Now I'm going to show you how I was able to do that. Reflector uses the native cast and airplay technology that's built into devices. So since I have an iPhone, I'm going to swipe up from the bottom. I'm going to select AirPlay Mirroring, and I will get a list of receivers where I can select the computer I want to mirror to. Android devices can also mirror to Reflector. Those users will just use the native CAS technology through Google Home. So once you have your phone set up with Reflector, we're going to label our Scenes box and our Sources box. So to add a scene, you will right-click and click Add. You can name the scene whatever you choose, and since I'm going to be streaming Bubble Witch, I'm going to label it Bubble Witch. And it will show up in the Scenes box. You'll want to do the same thing in the Sources. Right click and click Add. Now since we're going to be streaming iOS games, you want to click Window Capture. You again can name the source whatever you like. I'm going to leave it as Window Capture. and the properties will come up for window capture. You will click on this Dropbox and you will select Reflector 2 with the corresponding device name you are streaming from. You will click OK and it will now appear on your screen. If your device screen went black, it's because your device went to sleep and all you need to do is just open it again. You can move this device screen around in the OBS window to wherever you choose. Now that you have your device in the window, you can click on Start Streaming in the bottom right-hand corner of your OBS software. Now what you can do is go back to your Twitch channel, and what appears in your dashboard video preview will be the same as what appears in your OBS window. It may take a few moments for the feed to catch up, so just bear with it for a second. And now my screen appears in the video preview. You can also see this by clicking on the channel page as well.